Okay, I recreated uh, John Bedini's cell of alum, cream of tartar, and distilled water. Uh, performing a corrosion test on it. Uh, instead of using magnesium ribbon, I have used magnesium rod, which is 99.99% .99 pure. Here it is, it's been shorted out. The copper, as you see, it's black. Uh, that reddish tint color that you get when you make it semiconductive copper. So I did the semiconductive copper whole thing to it. Remove that. Let's clean it off a bit. So you can see the far right of the uh, rod has been the, in the uh, electrolyte. And this end right here has not. This end right here has pretty much stayed like it is. Measure the thickness of it. Up here, where it's not been in the water that much, it's about 1573. 15.73. And down here, I can get it. We are at about. 14.7675. So we went from, actually, we went pretty, pretty even, even numbers right there. So we went from 15.70 uh, ish to down to 14.75. At the clear loss of um, uh, weight. And the starting weight on it was about 30 grams. Not the most sensitive meter in the world. 31 grams was the starting weight. Now it's at 30 grams. So it's a clear loss of weight and mass. Or just mass, really. So. It's 30 grams. Oh, uh, so. Yeah, it's clearly eating away at the rod. You can see. And it's decaying the rod very easily. It almost looked like the uh, copper was turning green, but I think it's just a light. It's just how it's black. Like there's shiny copper, clean copper, and there's your semiconductive copper right there. Uh, but yeah, it's from what I can see, it's corroding. I don't think I'm going to post anything more about this cell since I got what I needed from it. People were saying that um, don't use magnesium ribbon because it corrodes the uh, magnesium. Magnesium is not pure or, or magnesium this and magnesium that. I mean, it's just crazy. Well, on the other hand, I do have cells that don't corrode the magnesium, as you can see right here. Here's one. Magnesium ribbon's not corroded. That's been in there for about three weeks now. This one. Magnesium ribbon is not corroded. About two weeks. And this is probably the longest one here. It's about four weeks. Magnesium ribbon is not corroded. Uh, no sign of it corroding anywhere. I don't know if you can see that. There's no no see through through it. It's doing just fine. Uh, here's one over here. Get the, there we go. Not corroding. This is magnesium ribbon. Not corroding. Also got one of the big metals in there. Magnesium rod. Not corroding. So that's interesting. And they've been shorted out. So I treated this cell no different than I would have treated these cells. And these cells are not corroding the magnesium. Some of these have been here for like four weeks. And this one's been in there for about two days, and it's clearly corroding away. While these are using much more inferior magnesium ribbon, yet they're not corroding. So I held that these two tests I did with Bedini's up to these standards of these cells, expecting these cells, expecting his cells to be like these cells over here, but they didn't hold up to that, and they are corroding. And that's why I did this test like I did. And they were on the same level as these tests, being shorted out by copper. Except, to please the people, I did the magnesium rod that was uh, had the uh, semiconductive copper. 
And yeah, it's just it's the exact same setup I would have done with these cells. But these cells right here are not corroding, but his Dini cells are. So I don't I don't know what else to do to prove to people. Or I don't know what else but he maybe he does use something I don't use. I don't know. Maybe he has figured it out, but from what I can see, what information he has given, the cells are corroding. But I have made cells here that are not corroding. And they're still giving me power. I mean, amps and voltage. We're giving, some of these are giving well over a couple milliamps. I mean, this is, this is it. I mean, I can't really prove anything else. I hold his cells up to the standards of these cells. I mean, I got cells that are really old here. I mean, these, this is, look at this. This is, this is last year. Last year, okay, this cell was created last year. It's using magnesium ribbon and it's still alive. Voltage, yeah, it's there. So I don't, I don't know. Look, see, the magnesium, magnesium ribbon is not corroding away. Look, it's not corroded. So I don't, I don't know what else to do to prove to people. So there, here, here you go. I just, this, that's the testing I did. Um, and there's the information and data I provided and you can draw your own conclusion from this um, as you can see none of my cells are corroding especially this one that's been there about the longest it's still one solid piece so there you have it